Welcome to this tutorial showing you how to create a piece of artwork in response to the artist Otto Eicher. And you'll see in Photopia, I've already opened up this photograph of basketball players that I found on Google. Please be mindful of copyright issues when using images from the internet. Okay, right, the first thing I want to do is to um, isolate the basketball players from the background. Okay. So I'm going to zoom in to this basketball player here down on the left and I'm going to use the polygonal select tool. Just that to create a mask around his outline. Okay. I'm doing it very quickly. I would suggest you take much more time than I am as I'm being quick for the tutorial. And do your absolute best to get a nice clean cut around the edge of your figure. And once you have masked around the whole thing, control C to copy it, and then press control V to paste it onto its own layer, which you can see here is what I have now. Okay, now rather than bore you with going around all the other basketball players and making you watch, I'm going to cut forward and you'll see now I have cut round all four basketball players and they are on their own separate layers. Okay, and the last thing I want to do is just take a bit of the net so I'm going to zoom into that so you can see what I'm doing and so I can see what I'm doing. And I'm gonna grab the magic wand tool and I'm gonna make sure the tolerance is up to 90 or so, so very tolerant. And I'm gonna magic wand the net, control C to copy it and control V to paste it. And you'll see it's on its own layer there now. Okay, so I have the four basketball players and the net all on their own layers. Okay, right, so I'm just going to take the net first and use the arrow tool just to bring it up. So I'm just going to make it look like it's a bit higher than it is. And then I'm going to move the two players on either side so that they are closer to the action. Okay, you may not need to do this or you may feel you just want to get rid of those um, players completely. Um, it's completely up to you with your image, but I want all four players to be in my image, but I want to not have quite so much empty space and I want to have a portrait image as well. So I'm just moving everything, redistributing the layers if necessary until I'm happy. Okay, I think that's looking pretty good. So next thing I'm going to do is get the rectangle select tool and I'm just going to crop down my image so that it becomes portrait and so there's less empty space and then image crop and there we go okay right next up I want to put a background in there so I'm going to select a new layer drag it down to the bottom and I'm going to go to the color picker and I'm going to choose uh, like a I think a light blue rather than a dark blue. Mm, I'm going to go with this one, I think, that's already there. Click OK. And then I'm going to use the paint bucket tool and just select that. And that's colored in my background. OK. Right. Next up, I'm going to merge all of my figures together along with the net. So they're all on one layer. I'm then going to go image and vectorize bitmap. This is the very special tool that's going to help me make my work look like the artists. So I'm going to go down to seven colors rather than 20, as is the default. And I'm going to untick reduce noise because I want that extra noise on there. And I'm going to change it from photo to cartoon. And that's going to make everything look almost exactly like the artist's work, which is fabulous. Okay, and 
you'll see that all of the image has been kind of turned into these different parts. First thing we're going to do is just right click on this and merge the layers so that it all goes into one layer. And then we're going to merge this layer with the background layer as well. This is going to enable us to start being able to change colors quite easily. So the first way is to go image adjustments, hue saturation, and you can just slide the hue bar anywhere you like to get a whole variety of different colors. But obviously it changes all the colors at once. Um, I quite like this. I'm going to go with the orange and um, blue. It looks good. Okay. Um, you also can change the colors one at a time as well. So if I wanted to change this white into something else, I would go to the magic wand tool and make sure that contiguous is unchecked. There's, you know, there's no tick. Um, and that's gonna make sure, put the tolerance down to 10, gonna make sure that everything you choose of that color gets masked off. Okay, so all of the white is masked off. Now I'm gonna go to the color picker, choose that nice warm yellow. And I'm going to go to the paint bucket tool and I'm going to do the same. Make sure contiguous is not ticked. And then I'm going to press that and everything that was white is now yellow. Okay, and you can do that with any of the colors and it's really good. So I'm going to do that with that um, gray color as well. So I mask off the gray color with the magic wand, choose this kind of red color and then use the paint bucket tool to fill it in. And that's all with contiguous unchecked. And then I'm just going to mess around with the hue saturation again. So you can do that again. Now I've changed the colors. I want to see what they might look like in different colors. I'm thinking that maybe slightly deeper orange might work. Just check the other colors first. Yeah, I think that's looking good. Okay, click OK. And that is this piece done and dusted. I hope you find this tutorial helpful.